hello guys yes shuli and you're welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you two easy and delicious recipes of green onions or spring onions the first one is spring onion stir fry with yellow lentils and the second one is yummy spring onion curry with chickpea flour with garlic tarka both of the recipes are so much delicious and easy to make so guys let's see the recipe the first one is yummy and spicy spring onion stir fry with yellow lentils for this recipe i am taking one big size tomato finely chopped some green chilies finely chopped according to taste and about 8 to 10 garlic cloves finely chopped and with this i am taking about half cup of yellow lentils soaked previously for about 2 to 3 hours you may soak them for overnight and after soaking i washed them properly they are very soft now and here i am taking about half bundle of green onions cut them into pieces and after that i wash them properly and drain the water nicely in a basket and now in the pan i am adding some cooking oil after the oil is heated well we need to add some tadka half teaspoon of cumin seeds half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a pinch of asafoetida and you may add uh, 2 to 3 bay leaves or curry leaves if you like but I am not adding it. After the whole spices are crackled well, I am adding the garlic cloves, chopped garlic cloves. While adding garlic, the heat should be on low and we don't need to wait for a long time. After about 6 to 7 seconds only, we need to add the tomatoes in the pan so that the garlic may not burn at all. After adding tomatoes, we need to add some spices and salt according to taste. I am adding about half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half of toys. And now I am adding about half teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color and some green chilies, chopped green chilies for spiciness, half teaspoon of garam masala, and 1 teaspoon of salt according to taste. Now we need to mix everything very well and after mixing we need to cover it and cook. But before covering the pan we need to add the yellow lentils, previously soaked yellow lentils of course. Now we need to mix it again and after that we need to add some water. A very little quantity of water so that the spices and lentils may not burn at all. Mixing well. I think some more water is needed, so I am adding some more water. After that, I am going to cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat. In between, we need to uncover the pan and stir it nicely. After about 5 to 6 minutes, the oil is released from the spices as you can see and the water is dried up. Tomatoes are very nicely soft and the lentils are nicely cooked now. I am showing you while checking and it's very nicely cooked so guys now it's time to add the green onions in the pan after adding the green onions we need to mix everything very well the heat should be on low now and after mixing we need to cover the pan for some time for about five to six minutes on low heat until the green onions are cooked very well after about 5 to 6 minutes, our green onions are very nicely cooked. At the end of this recipe, we are going to add some garnishing, some fresh coriander leaves, finely chopped. Mixing it again very well and after that, our veggies are ready. Our green onions stir fry with yellow lentils is nicely done. Let's turn the heat off and serve it hot. You can serve it with roti chapati or paratha or boiled rice as well. It's so much delicious to eat. So guys, let's serve it. Guys, don't forget to try this simple and yummy recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Now, I'm going to share the second recipe of spring onions. That is spring onion curry with chickpea flour with garlic tadka. It's also very easy and simple recipe. For this recipe, I'm taking one bundle of spring onions, cut them into pieces and wash them properly. And after washing, I left them for drying, for drying the excess water in a cotton cloth. Now I've taken a pan and turned the heat on. I'm adding two teaspoons of gram flour, that means chickpea flour in the pan. 
The heat is on low now and on low heat we need to roast the gram flour for about 3 to 4 minutes. We need to stir it continuously so that the gram flour may not burn at all. And now it's nicely aromatic and color has been changed a little. Now I'm taking it out in a bowl and keeping it aside. I'm cleaning the pan a little and after that I'm adding some cooking oil in the pan for the main process. You may add any kind of cooking oil as you like, there is no problem. After the oil is heated well, we need to add some whole spices in the oil. 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 to 3 red chilies, 1 pinch of asafoetida. You may add 2 to 3 bay leaves also. Let the cumin seeds crackle well. And here I am taking some garlic cloves finely chopped. About 8 to 10 garlic cloves finely chopped. About 10 to 12 garlic cloves little crushed. I am not going to use it right now. I will use it later for a tadka. And here 3 to 4 green chilies cut lengthwise. And 1 big size tomato finely chopped. At first I am adding the finely chopped garlic in the pan. After adding garlic we don't need to wait for a long time. We need to wait for about 6 to 7 seconds only. And after that we need to add the tomatoes so that the garlic may not burn at all. I am adding the tomatoes. And after adding tomatoes we need to add some salt according to taste and some spices. So, 1 teaspoon of salt according to taste, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, red chili powder according to taste. You may add about 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds powder as well. After mixing well, you may cover the pan for some time until the tomatoes are nicely soft. But here I don't need to cover the pan because the tomatoes are nicely soft already. So, I have added the green chilies. The tomatoes are very nicely soft and oil is released from the spices. So now we need to add the roasted chickpea flour. After adding the ground flour, we need to mix it very well. And after that, we need to add some water gradually, little by little. It's very thick now, as you can see. So I'm going to add some water, very little quantity of water at a time. And it's thickening again. Now I'm going to add some roasted peanut powder. Simply roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after that I grinded it to a coarse powder and I am adding about 3 teaspoon of it. Mixing it again and it's again thickened up so I am adding some water again. After mixing if water is needed, you may add some more water. I think some more water is needed. So, I am going to add some more water. Very little water of course. And now, I am going to cover the pan for some time. On low heat. Now, the water is dried up and oil is released from the spices mixture as you can see. After mixing well, we need to add the spring onions in the pan. So, here are they. Let's add them. We need a very soft texture of the curry. Neither very tight nor very liquid. So, even after adding the spring onions, we need some more water. But before that, after mixing well, we need to cover the pan for some time on low heat so that the quantity of spring onion may decrease a little. After about 2 to 3 minutes, the quantity is decreased as you can see. So, now I am adding some water. Now, keep the consistency according to your choice. So, keep the water quantity according to your choice. Stop adding water after the desired consistency is here. 
so now i think it's perfect i'm covering the pan after about five to six minutes on low to medium heat the consistency is very nice now the spring onions are very nicely cooked so our curry is almost ready just we need to add a tadka i checked the salt and i think some more salt is needed so i added some after mixing well i'm going to remove the pan from the heater for some time for making a tadka so i'm removing it and putting a frying pan on it i'm adding some cooking oil for making a tadka let the oil heat well and after that we need to add some whole spices so half teaspoon of cumin seeds a pinch of asafoetida and now i'm going to add those garlic cloves little crushed here are they let's add them the heat should be on lowest now and on low heat we need to fry them until they are cooked very well from the inner side the color should be only pink not dark so now the garlic cloves are cooked very well 100% i am removing two to three for garnishing from the upper side and for a nice color i am adding about 1/4 teaspoon of red chili powder in the tadka after mixing well we need to add the tadka in the curry very quickly so let's add it and now we need to mix everything very well and our tadka curry is done you may add some fresh coriander leaves if you like but i am not adding it after mixing well our curry is ready let's serve it i garnished the curry from the upper side with the fried garlics and now you can serve it with roti chapati paratha or boiled rice it's very 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 yummy and delicious don't forget to try this simple and yummy recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care